It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1769, recorded Thursday, March 5th, 2020. Keep it clean. For the Giz Whiz on this episode, we have two more gadgets from the Inspired Home. I take over one of the main gadgets, hip hip hooray, and we have a new theme for the crappy corner. All next on the Giz Whiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, frozen rows of USBs, growing, growing, growing. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, your gadget master. Not like a webmaster. Gadget master. Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dicky D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good myself. Doing very good. Are you panicking? Uh, are you? I was just on the uh, virus thing, and I see Texas has only four cases. Yeah. Uh -huh. Corona um, fever. I think that maybe out there. we should do some uh what do they what do they call it? Um doomsday prepping episodes, maybe. <laughs> and then Oh maybe. I could get some products for some dooms doomsday prepping. Um <clears throat> remember when I thought I had corona I learned about coronavirus here on the show. Is because of CES. I came back and everyone was like, Oh, you got coronavirus. And oh like, my gosh. What are y'all talking about? Oh, it wasn't CES. I came back from PAX at the end of January, so um, everyone's talking about Oh, yeah, about no, uh, Fax has a different disease that they give out. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's uh, a different beer uh, brand. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's Sam Adams virus. Sam Adams um, virus, exactly. So, yeah, so I actually learned about coronavirus here on the show. Holy moly. Who knew oh. it would take off? I mean, just become <laughs> so darn popular... Should have well, you don't have that. crowds and things, right? You know, like mm. five million people a day take the subway. Yeah. And one of the things they say is try to stay six feet away from any person. <laughs> That's pretty hard to do in no, New York yeah. City, maybe in Riverside Park. Yeah. But not on the subway or a bus. I can't. So. It's, I'm just washing like, my hands every 10 minutes. Yeah. When I yeah. And, and like, I'm staying home as much as I can. You know, I've been cooking more at home than normal. Um, and, and, and you know what's funny is about three weeks ago, I don't know why I bought this. It was a deal of the day, and I thought, oh, I need that. Uh, miracle Clean Pens that it's a multi-service disinfect, uh, disinfectant and cleaner. Huh. And I thought, gee, they're like a buck each. I'm, I'll spend four bucks. Um, so I bought them and then I thought everything in the city sold out. You can't buy Perel. You can't pretty much everything. Uh, and then I thought, let me see if they still sell those. Well, they do. But now instead of a dollar each, they're $5 each. Yeah, you can sell it. You got, you got, it's like you bought stock in that company, but it was yes. an actual product. Yes, yes. And you saw on Amazon that Perel is like $30. They're, they're, Amazon's trying to shut all those places down. I think I but have they, an N95 mask in my garage. I should just go resell that on like you better. Now Facebook you, you can Marketplace. Get, you could get a couple hundred bucks for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, someone asked, how is this affecting Minecraft events? Today... Minecraft Festival was canceled. Uh, it was the big Minecraft event for this year that was going to be like, the. it was going to be a big deal because they haven't had a physical Minecraft event that's in a, that's like official official. They've had official unofficial events and I've gone, gone to a ton of them. You guys, you know, I've been traveling all over. But this one was put on by Microsoft, put on by... Um, Minecraft and it just got canceled today. Wow. Were you going to that? Oh yeah. I had luckily I had not booked flights. A few of my friends had. A few of them are actually international friends, so they were are really up a creek. Um some people are saying they're just gonna show up anyway and just everybody'll just hang out and <laughs> Oh <laughs> it's in Florida. Um I only had a hotel, which luckily I can cancel. 
but yeah, it's uh, and SX, uh, the thing in Austin is yeah. still Southside. happening, but a lot of the big companies like Amazon and a lot of the big companies have dropped out, yeah, and and like, also the funny thing, go ahead, it's just I have a you know, a, I guess a better conversation with Microsoft. One of the reasons they said, you know, our, that event was in September, and it's pretty far away, but one of the things I said is, we really can't plan for the event, because we gotta do travel to go there, and set up stuff. We can't do that anymore, because Microsoft won't let us take trips. So what you're saying about this is, yeah, businesses don't wanna risk it. They're not gonna let their employees, you know, be in a dangerous position. So it's just like what you're saying. Yeah. Well, uh, all the airlines now are allowing you to cancel tickets. You don't get a refund, but there's no change fee if you use the ticket within a year, but you still get hit up if the fare changed. But yeah. at least you don't get the $200 change fee. That's been waived. I, I don't understand the, why people don't do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> just, just let me use these funds. I gave them to you. Let me use them within the airline. That'd be great. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And the, the funny thing is the two items from Inspired Home preview is good because Inspired Home just got canceled. Oh, my God. So Inspired Home is supposed to start next week. And it's a mega show in Chicago. Actually, they, they canceled it last week. But a lot of those people really got taken short because it got canceled like two and a half weeks before it's going to open. Um, so it is really messing things up. Yeah, big time. Big, big, yeah. big time. Um, and and I, it's just insane to see some of the quarantine stuff that's going on. Uh, not in America. It's just like otherworldly. Oh, otherworldly. Yes, I saw where they're sealing off villages. Yeah. 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 And, and Padre posted some pictures of St. Peter's Square where there's like pigeons. I guess the pigeons don't know about that or the pigeons don't care. But it's like people are really affected by this. I don't know if they're not letting people in the square or it turned out that just no one showed up. But uh, I've never seen anything like this uh, in my lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. God. It's real bad. And all, and also, uh, the other, th we'll put this to bed in just a moment. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it really hit me today. I was, you know, I was a little bummed about Minecraft Festival ending. Um, and I saw a really great point, which was, okay, because someone said, oh, a whole bunch of kids are going to go to Minecraft Festival. You know, kids aren't dying from this. But it's not about that, because if you get it, now you are a vector to give it to someone else. And maybe you're not vulnerable, but the other people that you may give it to are vulnerable. So you getting it is still a very, if you think that you're healthy enough to, you know, get through the sickness, still you getting it is very bad because you may hand it off to someone who can't uh, get through it. So that was like, yeah, you're better safe than sorry. No, that's, that's a good point. And I sprayed all the microphones with Miracle Clean. <laughs> that's good. So... No fear. So nothing will travel through the airwaves. Um, okay, so we're going to start with uh, a gadget from Inspired Home invented by a single mom from Austin, Texas. Ooh. And here is her invention. Hey, Dick D. Bartola, Inspired Home. We love this event. We find new gadgets, mainly for the kitchen. And we're talking to Sherry, Sherry, right? Yes. Who invented something that's really neat, especially if you should live in an apartment. You don't have a lot of counter space. We're going to look at this over here. We're using Andrea as our camera person. So, uh, Andrea, if, it, if the uh, video's a little wonky, it's no problem. This is called Store It, uh, the cabinet caddy. And, Sherry, what does Store It do? So it's the cabinet caddy, and it adds vertical storage into your kitchen cabinets or your cupboards, any of your, your cluttered cabinets that you need to, to clean. Can we see it? Yes, absolutely. So what you do is you lift the handle, and there's a there's an arrow on the label. It tells you which direction to turn, pull all the way out, and rotate, and you have instant access to what's stored inside. It's great for spices and prescriptions, essential oils, fingernail polishes, anything you might want to store. That's really neat. 
eat. Uh, and it, it, it's freestanding. Yes. So, do you know what? Is it uh, tall enough to go in a cabinet, or is it mainly to be on a counter? It's designed for standard cabinets. You need 11 inches of clearance in height and in depth. And what's neat about these is they're modular, so you can set them directly side by side and have one, two, three, four units all together. You have a library of organized stuff. Can you stand them one on top of another? No, they're not stackable. They're not way. stackable. Okay. Okay. And the, uh, the price? The price is $39.99, and we're available at cabinetcaddy.com. Okay. Are you going to be on Amazon? Yes, we are available on Amazon as well. On Amazon as well. Only because it's easy for people to go there. Uh, I like this. Cabinet Caddy and under 40 bucks. We're inspired home looking for stuff. That is neat. I love how it like just folds over to be able to get out all the stuff. I've seen similar sort of like Lazy Susan or like some weird like track thing. But this is nice. I feel like this is kind of the nicest organizer in this field. Yeah, no, I, I like them too. And and uh, if you buy two or three of them, uh, it's cheaper. They come in black and white. Uh, they ship with stick-on labels. Uh, they have foam inserts. So if the bottles are small, they won't fall around in the track. Uh, I, I think she did a really uh, job and no assembly required, which is good. And I like the fact that the little arrow is there to tell you which way it can turn. So is um, it an yeah. arrow right there? I see. It's right on that label. Yeah. They, that, yep. that way. I see. I see. Yeah. I was, I was a little confused about that until yeah. just now. So oh, wow. it's good for drugs? Yeah. Uh, I bet in the workshop would be good, too. Oh, here's uh, – oh, okay. Arson for crafts. crafts. Oh, oh yeah, and a workshop. Uh, and a workshop. Go. Yeah. 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 Organization I, is always <laughs> – it's so hard because buying, like, one or two things – is never enough. You gotta buy. <laughs> you gotta buy like eighteen thousand bins. It feels like, but something like this, it's. I feel like you get a lot more worth out of that because it's both sides, and um, it kind of takes yeah. up a lot more. It, it takes up a lot more space, but that means you're going to be able to organize more, which I like. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. No, oh, oh yeah. Wow. There we go. The, okay. <laughs> if you fly a lot and have all those little bottles from the airline, you need one of these. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's very funny. Actually, it's it's very clever. It's very yeah, clever. I like it. I like it. Cabinet caddy. Cabinet and caddy. Easy to shipping remember. Shipping now. Boy. Now the next gadget is so bizarre. Let me ask if you ever heard. Maybe you know. Sometimes you amaze me with the things you know. Have you ever heard of or operated a sphere of facator? <laughs> no, you got got me there. A spear of facator. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the guy ran it for me. He didn't run it for me. He, I, I tasted some of the output from the spherificator. Um, but well, let's 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 see his one minute video first. Okie dokie. Uh, let me grab that. Um, I have a. Oh, it's on its website. It's on its on website. website. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, and he explains it, and I'll explain what he didn't explain. This fear of the So it's this to is to make a... pearls of food. Interesting. So this is like a I've I've sort of seen you know obviously like boba that sort of stuff, um, and then also I've seen. Um, there was a soda that was a big flop that had these beads <laughs> in it. I forgot the name. It's perfect uh, for bartenders. You can make coffee pearls. Interesting. Uh, and, and this is a, what do they call it? Uh, the like really fancy foods, gastronomy. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. It sounds like a medical Yeah, issue. yeah, yeah. If you're having a really fancy party so he had some there and i tasted them and and, and i said what is this <laughs> yeah he said i made uh pearls out of gatorade 
I Whoa. Should. Electrolytes. I know, I know. <laughs> nice. I said, why did you pick something like Gatorade? And he said, well, it was the easiest thing to do, and it was here. So I don't like to taste the Gatorade anyway. But the downside is reading about it is uh, – I'll just read a little bit of this. The, it, the, the spirificator uses the reaction between sodium agonate and calcium chloride – to form spherical membranes around the ingredients you choose. Hmm. Well, you you have to mix water with this stuff and then wait 45 minutes. And okay. then you do something else and then you wait a little more. And then you make those pearls. But then it says for the optimal burst in the mouth flavor, serve within 15 minutes. Or they will start to coagulate. Ah, so this is a very, you got to plan ahead, you plan for yeah. the moment. Hmm. I think this is a thing more for a chef in a restaurant or right. a very elegant part. Let's put it this way. If you're coming to the, the meetup, if there is a meetup in 2020, <laughs> we'll not be serving pearls of food. That you may have to, to escape from New York, Dickie D. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, we'll not be using this um, Meetup 2021 in case there's not one in 2020. Um, so, I don't know. It's, it's just such a bizarre gadget that at first when he was doing it, I thought, oh, that's kind of neat. You throw the things in and then you pick this thing up and then you uh, – but then when you read and, and when you order it, it's $99, by the way. That little machine is $99. Yeah. But – you get uh, 40 grams of sodium alginate and you get 100 Gs of calcium chloride. And you also get 50 Gs of sodium citrate. Um, yeah, I found this on, uh, uh, on the uh, web of a woman making it. So and it seems like you could do it because it even mentioned it in their promo. There are traditional methods to do this. So you buy the sodium blah, 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 and then you buy the other blah, blah, blah. And then <laughs> you use a, like, it looked like a, you know, pipette type of thing or, or a, just a squeeze bottle. And you make these little pearls. But the thing that this does, it looks like, is it shoots them out really quickly so that yes. you can make a ton really fast. And it's a lot faster than drip, 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 drip. Um, uh, and uh, seems this like. woman, I think this woman said that, like, if you move it up and down, you'll get different size pearls. But some of them seem like a, a arrive broke. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to see that. I don't even think Dennis is going to use this. Oh, we, we don't have one, but for $99, we're not going to buy one either. Uh, even if I had one, I doubt if I would go through all this. Um, but I thought if you've been dying to have food, pearl-shaped food, yeah, just, just use capers because they'll look like this. And <laughs> you have to do anything. Just take them yeah. out and th throw it on salmon. I, uh, but uh, it really is for the at-home chef who wants to make boba pearls their own way with their own ingredients and do it quicker than just doing it by hand. I don't know if it's yeah. worth a hundred bucks. Yeah. It seems. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you'd impress someone at a party, I think. And I'm not even sure you do it yourself. You'd probably have. I'd hope some... that this comes with an impressive guarantee. Like if you're if people aren't impressed, you can get your money back because that seems like what it's for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, so now you know what a spherificator is. Spherificator. Now at parties, I can speak with authority <laughs> about a. Do you have any spherificator? Do you have any uh, food pearls? Yeah. Uh, and it's served at a fancy. Ah, oh, I see. You are a spherificator. Nice. Yes. That a does not roll off the tongue. Yeah, and no, it doesn't. They they could have done better than they should have called it the pearl maker. Would have been better. Yeah, uh, yeah. Spherification sounds blaster. like. Uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. 
Next year, Mattel will have a version of this that you can shoot them at each other, and it'll be thirty-five dollars. That's good. That's really good. I like that. Uh, hey, now it's time for me to take over. Yes, you're going to take over because uh, I only had five gadgets from the now canceled Inspired Home Show. Ooh. Is it canceled forever? No, just canceled for okay. this year. I was like, because, because I was like, wait a second. Department. I think I misunderstood. Um, no, canceled for this year. Nice. So this is a gadget that I picked up at CES, and I've it's been actually really nice to have since then. It is a and I'm just going to do this whole review just live. Um, it's a uh, portable heater. It's a portable um, heating pad for use for back aches or anything that oh, you oh, use oh. A, a, um, a heating pad for. I have been really impressed by this little guy. It's called Relief Heat. You can find out more at reliefheat.com. And it straps around your waist. So this is the whole device. You pull off the um, oh. Velcro, and then it has a sort of longer line. They come in two sizes. They come in a, I think it's like a 30 inch to 40 inch, which is what I have. And I wear about a 36 um, inch waist, like uh, for my, my uh, pants. So this is the 20 to 40 inch size. And it's, it barely reaches, it barely reaches. So. If you think that you're, you weigh more than I do, you're definitely going to need the 40 inch to 60 inch waist. Now, uh, are you wearing version. it over a belt also? So right now my belt is like here. Oh, and then, oh okay. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So that so, would rest yeah. like right there on my yeah. lower back. Spot, yeah, that, that's where it usually hurts. Right, exactly. So right there. And this is, to be honest, really nice because you have a portable heating pad. You can still sort of walk around the house. You're not just totally stuck to the bed if you're having a little bit of, of back pain. Um, now to show this off, um, I have a little thermometer here. This is a you know laser infrared thermometer. Um, and the way that you control the relief heat is through your phone. So there are mm. no buttons, there's nothing to hit on the device. In fact, the only thing on the device is a charging port, USB-C, and it comes with a charger inside of the box. And in fact, when you need to pair this with your phone, because there are literally no buttons, you have to plug it in. That's like <laughs> how you turn it on is you, you plug it into the wall and then it's like, um, it's like awake and looking for, for the app. So right now, let's switch over here to the product shot. Currently, I have it just sitting right here. The temperature is 75 degrees. I've already connected it with the app. I've already gone through that, that process. You see a little bit of a um, battery indicator up in the corner and this relief heat. The app is very basic, very, very basic. It does everything you need it to do, but it's so basic it's almost like worrisome. So all you do is hit on it's going to give you a questionnaire on how are you feeling at the moment. So right now I'm feeling a five, but you always have to answer the questionnaire. There's no way to turn that off. And then it's on and you can set the temperature at the top. And so if you want it really hot, it goes all the way up to 160. If you want it, and we'll just leave it there uh, for now. Um, and then you set the time for how long you want it to go. I was able to get about three of these sessions out of out of this. So for, I forget if I had it set on 20 minutes, but I think I had it n more set on 15. So I think I was able to get about 45 minutes um, off of this. But already this has gone up quite a lot in heat. So we are at 75 oh, wow. degrees before, yeah. it's already at 133. It's now it's at 132. And it is, it's very fast. It's very noticeable. There's definitely heat going on um, in the pad. And even, you know, through a shirt, which is what I'd recommend. I wouldn't recommend you put this right on your skin and neither do the instructions. Um, but you can definitely feel the heat. This is not a weak heating pad, um, in my opinion. And then as the time goes down, it'll automatically shut off. Once you're done, 
It will ask you how your back pain is feeling now that you have completed your cycle and you hit enter and you're done. And that's really it. There's not a ton, there's not a ton <laughs> left to review. Um, that's how much, <laughs> that's how much you, <laughs> you, you do. Um, I, this is, these are statistics. This is actually new in the app. I haven't seen this before, but apparently I have used it for three hours over 11 sessions. My average session time is 20 minutes. And, um, and then it has my average before and after pain, which to be honest, I normally just kind of skip through. Um, and there you go, relief heat. Now the price, currently it's on a little bit of a sale and it is a hundred bucks. So normally it's 120, currently it's a hundred. At the moment, the larger size is sold out. So this is the size that I have, the 22 to 40 inch waist. If you want the larger one, that's out of stock. Um, I don't know of any other product that does this, that is completely, you know, uses a battery, uses a heating element, and that will stick to your back as you move around and is Bluetooth connected. I have, haven't ever heard of something like that. Um, so to me, this is brand new in this type of category, and I'm pretty impressed. The battery only lasts for a few sessions, but with it putting out that much heat, I'm, I don't think I can consider that a con of the relief heat. And you know, um, to tell me again how you turn it on, Chad. So uh, just through the app. So oh, right, there's okay. no buttons I, you, or anything. I thought you said you had to plug it in the wall to turn the it on. The first time that you pair it to your phone. Oh, oh when you first. That's okay. kind of how you wake it up, is you plug okay. it into the wall okay. so that it's awake right. and, and looking. Okay. Um, well, then this is great for travel. Like on an airplane, yes. you don't have a microwave to heat up one of those things in the drugstore. Yes, yes. So this is really yes. good for that. That's yes. super. And, and I've never been impressed with the, like, pads that you get that sort of emulate coolness and heat. This is real heat, which is something that I like. It's not just a, uh, you know, icy hot patch that, that isn't actually delivering real heat. Um, I really like that about it. And I have back problems, and it's been really nice to not have to lay in bed all day long Especially if, you know, I want to have it on the chair or whatever, I can do that. Oh, I need to go get some water. You know, I still have the heat on while I go and do that. It does have a timer, so the timer's by default through the phone. Um, is You you kind of have to have it on a timer. Actually, you know what? I wonder if there's a uh, option just to just keep it on. Let me try. I've always just used the timer. Time left. You can go up to, yes, you can go up to infinity. So oh. your, your time can be infinity. Or, or dead battery. Yeah, exactly, until it <laughs> dies, or as little as five minutes. So you can go all the way up and just do that. And then once, you know, you turn it off there as well, whenever. And then you sort of set the temperature right there. And that's all the app does. It's very, very, very simple. Um, I like it. Infinity. 90, 99 bucks right now. So bucks? it's 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 either Spiricator, nine ninety nine dollars. <laughs> does well, not help you back. Does not help you back. Or oh, pain relief, ninety nine dollars. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Oh, and uh, and and um, well, I've already mentioned this that they uh, uh, handed this to me at CES. So thanks, thank you. No, it's great. To them. It's great. Uh, are they ReliefHeat.com or yeah, ReliefHeat.com. Easy to easy to remember. ReliefHeat.com. Okay. Uh, okay. With that, let's move on to do, 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 to do. you again because it's time for, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. So it's pretty funny that we spent so long <laughs> at the beginning of this episode talking about uh, the coronavirus because out of the poll, one of the options was gadgets for when you are sick, which I was- Oh my I'd, goodness. I'd kind of chosen because of, you know, all the crazy stuff that's going on with corona, but hey, that'd be kind of funny. That's a kind of funny category. So there you go. Gadgets for when you're sick is the winner. So that is this month's theme. 
And uh, so I kind of took that in a way that I feel like maybe this is a gadget right before you're sick and, or a gadget for while you're sick. This is a soap dispenser, but it's not just any soap dispenser. It does have gadgety qualities. Um, in the past I've reviewed, oh God, what was that thing called? It was a toilet, it was a toilet light. It, was, it had a motion oh, detector. Oh, yeah, 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 a little LED light. Yeah, yes. I totally yeah. forget the name of that thing. But this is basically that, but for soap. So it has a indicator on the front, and that will tell the light level, and also, also it will detect motion. So here, let me go ahead and turn off the light. Oh, in that's here. good. Yeah, so it'll do the same. So what's funny is I use that toilet thing all the time. That's just It's just on my toilet, because if you got to wake up in the middle of the night, and you don't want to turn on all the lights, and you don't want your eyes to, you know, not betray you as you head back to uh, the bed because the lights are too bright. Um, it's just enough light to kind of see where you're going. So I'm actually excited to test this out as well. So with it, um, with the light oh. off, it will detect motion. So I'm moving and the low level of light. And it has seven different colors. So it had green, wow. blue, green again. Again, <laughs> uh, purple slash oh. pink, red. I believe that's don't you, white. Don't you have to be careful that when you're very sleepy, you might come in and pee on the sink. <laughs> because, you know, oh, there's, there's, the, there's the light. Oh, this is where I, yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought about that. Here, I'm going to try to stand still and see how long it takes to turn off. One thing that I did have frustrations with, hopefully it can't see my mouth talking, is that uh, <laughs> the bottom of it was really difficult to remove. In the end, it was user error, but it might be, have been instruction error. I don't, I don't know. I thought it was a thread, but it was one of those where you just twist it by half and then pull it off. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and why do you have to take the bottom off? Batteries, for the batteries. Oh, 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 oh. For the batteries, just to put the batteries in. Okay, there we go. Oh, perfect, I stayed still long enough. Okay, I mean, now I'm gonna start moving. Okie dokie. I'm, oh, there it goes. Oh. Turn it on. Ba, ba, ba. So it works. Uh, here, let's turn back on the lights. And what's funny is this actually ended up being kind of a uh, <laughs> clearance gadget because oh. I didn't expect it to be clearance gadget, but it was actually on clearance. I went to Home Depot to pick this up uh, and it was on clearance for like four bucks. It's normally um, like $15. On Amazon, it's available for $11, and it is an as-seen-on-TV product. So, if you're into that. Oh, apparently, <laughs> I was confused about the green color. It, it explains it right here on the side. It has not only the green color in the seven colors, but also lime. <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh, okay. So, just in case green isn't good enough, you also have lime. And I'm then you also not have not green, which <laughs> yeah. is pink. <laughs> That's weird. Um, seven colors, two of them are green. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, it does require three AAA batteries. The bottom, um, the, here's you know what it looks like with the lights on. Uh, the bottom can actually come off and this is just like a normal plastic thing. So it's completely oh, separate from yeah, the yeah. Okay. LED base, uh, and this pump dispenses quite a lot of soap, so you could almost do just a half press. Here's the base, this includes the batteries and the LED, and apparently a little O-ring as well. This is what I was talking about where it's just a half turn, and then oh, yeah. you can pull it up. You can see where I dug into the plastic, <laughs> trying, trying my hardest. I could not figure it out to get in there uh, to get to the batteries. And then yeah. once you're done, you just... You know, I, I, I foresee a problem with you having this and the toilet light. I think you're going to walk into the bathroom and the, this is going to go on and the toilet light's going to say, oh, you got it? And it's going to go out. And then the soap thing's going to say, no, It'll you light disco. up. That, yeah. yeah. I like it. No, yeah, I think it's great for four bucks. Yeah. Wow. super Super cheap. It's a, it looks like a good soap You dispenser. know, even for 11 bucks, that is not bad. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought so. So there you go, your LED light up soap dispenser. Uh, you can get it 
hopefully a Home Depot near you for really cheap. And the Home Depot near me had a ton of them. They had 20 of them. And the one next to me had 40 of them. So if you have a Home Depot near you, you probably can get this for inexpensive or you can find it on Amazon. Or if you're into retail arbitrage, you can just buy them from Home Depot and then resell them on Amazon <laughs> and make a profit, which is probably you know, what I should have done. I forgot to tell What was your gadget last week? What was my gadget last it week? It was from Target. Uh, it was, was it a bulb? Oh my goodness. Was, Only. Uh, was it the uh, spy thing? The camera that wouldn't work? No, no. Uh, uh, let me the go The fire there. LED? The which? The fire LED? It was like a bulb that tried yes, to do yes, fire? Yes, yes, and, yes. And you got it at Closeout? Yeah. I got it from right. somewhere. From Walmart, Home Depot? No, from Target? Yeah, Walmart. And, and, oh, Walmart. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, it's probably gone now. I went to Walmart to see how much it was. They were 25 cents. <laughs> oh, what? what? It said store, store only. And I think it was like $12.00. And you paid like four. Yeah. And I think it went online and it was like three. Wow. And then I thought, let me see what it is today. It was 25 cents. That is crazy. That you can't funny? buy a light bulb for 25 <laughs> cents, let alone a fire that, animated. That's the time you could buy a hundred and resell. Yeah. Holy moly. Uh, well, there we go. So the whole uh, theme of this month will be gadgets for when you're sick, and obviously the you know you should wash your hands whenever you're sick as much no, as you can. No, that fits right in. No, no, wash that's your perfect. hands. Yeah. Uh, and so that'll be this month's theme. With that, let's move on to the warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Uh, oh, uh, our viewer video, uh, we missed a couple of weeks without Mo, but we make up for today. And Mo says it's not a gadget this time, but it's an app, Chad, and other owners of the iPhone 11 probably will enjoy. And this is Mo's video. Hey guys, today I want to bring to you not an actual product, but an app. Now oh. the app itself, it's only compatible with iPhone 11. So this is only going to apply to people on in the chat room who have iPhone 11 or chat. This is a <laughs> really cool app and I think you're going to like it. So the iPhone 11 comes with two to three cameras in the back and one in the front. So four cameras total. There's an app called uh, Filmic, I believe Filmic. I have their expensive app, I think it's $15. <whistles> the, uh, and it has all these options that you can use uh, your phone for, which is really cool. But they also are offering a new app, which is free called Double Take. This is real cool. So you click on the actual app and my daughter is going to do it with me. So the app <laughs> itself, this is what it does. Choose to record two cameras at the same time. So you click on here and you're gonna what? choose the active camera. It gives you all four cameras, the ultra wide, the selfie, and the other two cameras in the front, the one X and two X, I believe. So let's choose the, I don't know, the A one. Okay, that's chosen. And the selfie one here. Okay, and you confirm down below. And now what it's doing, it's going to record both of us at the same time. Wow. So the first recording option will record me and the other person in front of me with two separate feeds. So you'll get two separate videos. You can choose to actually get one video and you'll get this. So as my daughter nice. is facing so it'll overlay the it. In phone, the bake it in. When you play the yeah. video, it'll play both videos at the same time. It'll show me and her. And then the third one is two cameras at the same time. So it'll record, I believe, this setup at the same time, which is pretty cool. So it's called Filmic. It's a really cool app. It has a lot of options. And like I said, let's go back to the second one and I'll give you an example 
Can I see? I'll record while I'm playing. <laughs> do, 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 Actual. Do. Testing. One, two, three. Say something. Say hello. Oh, okay. He's Gizwiz. playing a video now. Yeah. Subscribe to the Gizwiz and MTNIZ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The only thing I got. <laughs> so this, you know, this is a really, this is a really cool app. So I hope you like it. Thank you for everything you do. Bye. That is awesome. Yeah. And it's free. Yeah, that's really cool. So when he said it, it makes two separate videos if you want. So if you're covering a show by yourself, you could then yeah. cut. Yeah, that so throw the, that into that, a video editor and then you get to decide wh which shot you're taking to. Yeah. At that that's moment. That's pretty neat. It's free neat. and it's called uh, Double, Double Take, take. right? That Double is cool. Take. But only uh, for the iPhone 11, Mo says. Right. And I think that's because it's uh, the, the processor and the fact that it has so many cameras. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, because I think uh, they show, I remember they showed off Filmic, which is what he was talking about, that expensive app. Um, they showed that off in the keynote. And so I think that they put a lot of work in to make sure that they can do all that processing of dealing with four different sources of video. So I think that's why it's. But you know, also it's very funny expensive. when you said <clears throat> it's expensive. It was fifteen dollars. <laughs> remember when apps were like I know. thirty-five, oh, forty dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah, you I remember you? spending yeah. hundreds of dollars for yes. um for for Microsoft Word on the Mac uh, because oh. <clears throat> uh, yeah, because I had a Macintosh yeah. and I wanted you know Word and PowerPoint and Excel. Hundreds of bucks. Yes. <clears throat> when I, uh, let's see, I knew someone who worked on 60 Minutes and I had badgered him for years to get mad on and mad on. And finally, when it was Mad's 35th anniversary, he called and he pitched it. And uh, so Mad was on 60 Minutes. And Bill called me and he said, you know, he said, we sold like 30,000 subscriptions. He said, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. I want to do something special for you. Very special. What do you want? And I said, a, a new boat. <laughs> and he said, how much is that? I, I think he's kidding. I said, $50,000. He goes, think smaller. Uh, I said, Microsoft are you Word. Yeah. I, 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 yes. I, I said, are you sorry serious? To, sorry said, to cut to the punchline, but. I said, I'm serious. <laughs> I said, well, I, I, I'd like a computer. And he said, okay. Said price them and, and then tell me how much. So I, I was looking at computers and I said I'm a writer. He said, Oh, you need Microsoft Word. I said, How much is it? He said, It's five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, five hundred dollars. This is nineteen eighty eight. Yeah, five hundred dollars. And it wow. was the stupidest program. Yeah, it was made for people who run giant corporations when you hit save you just can't save it how uh how many departments should be able to see this yeah how many people can edit it i mean to save something took about eight minutes because you had to answer 40 pages of uh, it was ridiculous <laughs> that is, yeah. but but 500 bucks that's why so. like it's i'm surprised why weren't more people in the software game back then? Why was there not more competition? <laughs> yes, exactly. That's ridiculous. Why, now we know why Microsoft is so rich now. I know. And it's so funny. Today, that app costs $3? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's real expensive. I don't think I want to deal with that. It's like, uh, it, it is very, I do think about that a lot. Because also, like, I'll go to, like, Dave and Buster's, which is a like an arcade uh, thing, um, if you never heard of it, uh, and I'll spend like fifty bucks, like doing like little games and stuff, and it this doesn't matter. And I will sit there and him and haw over, <laughs> yeah, an app that costs like two dollars. Yeah. It's so funny. It's it thing, times have changed. Time really changed. Things have changed. Uh, with that, let's move into something that hasn't changed ever since the post office was invented. The letter. Now. Our letter is from Ranger Rick and Magoo. 
and it's about the Museum of Printing. Ranger Rick says, I spent half my working days in type uh, typography and printing. Going to this museum was a walk down memory lane. I worked with great trades, people of the day. Find it fascinating to see tech transform the industry. I worked for Type Solutions here in New Hampshire, one of the founding fathers of True Type. Wow. We did initial work on Apple and Microsoft Core fonts. Uh, I will try to get a personal video of typecasting at the museum. And he sent a couple of credit uh, uh, pictures. I give credit to Frank Romano for spending his life's work trying to preserve printing. He's written some, <laughs> look at what they have in their printing library. Uh, I wonder, Ranger Rick, are you in a chat room? Did you bring those with you for this picture? Uh, uh, he said, Frank Romano has spent a life work preserving printing, has written some 60 books on the subject. And would it be okay if I do a video for the show about printing and the printing process? Uh, yeah. why not? So that's Ranger Rick all the way on our left. And I think Frank Romano is all the way on the right. And in the middle, did I not get his name? You know, I think I did not. Ranger Rick, are you in the room? Um, if you are, tell us who the person in the center is. I did a little, uh, oh, Walt, I'm sorry. It, it's Walt Richardson in the middle. So yeah, if you want to do a two to three minute video on the early printing presses, that would be that's, great. That's a gadget. That was a, that's a revolutionary that's, that's, gadget. That's a gadget indeed. Wow. Uh, yeah. So thank you, Ranger Rick. Very cool. That is very, very neat. Uh, with that, I guess we're coming close oh. to the end of our show. Wait, did we forget something? Do you know what the what the heck is it was? Oh, I forgot. I'm glad you reminded me. Um, no. Uh, oh, uh, uh, go there, uh, and I'll I read didn't. a few of the, the uh, silly answers. Okay. Uh, you know what? I found, uh, go to it, and then I'm going to ask you what you really think it is. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, and then, Close my eyes. and scroll. Yeah, and then you can see the, 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 the answer is not up there. So it's okay. Boop. There we go. So All this right. was okay. It. All right. So I I was searching when I was relighting, uh, getting bulbs to do all the lighting over for Disneyland with LEDs. I found this on one of the pages in one of the elect uh, electrical warehouses that I was at, and I thought, no one, no one would know what this thing is. Yeah. And I was also thinking. Knowing I'm a boater, they're going to say it's uh, twin throttles for uh, a boat. Uh -huh. No one said that. <laughs> but about 40 to 50 people said, oh, what are you talking about? The Waco uh, cable connector? What? So this is a way you, sh you uh, cut about a half in uh, inch of insulation off two wires, oh, wow. stick them in there. Close the two orange levers, and then the wires are connected. Okay. Hey. And then, what? Oh, so it can be a temporary <laughs> connection, or oh. it can you can just leave it like that. They lock down very tight. I'm not quite sure why you need that. Why not just take two wires and twist them together? Huh. That's crazy. Um, but so many people they knew, knew it. Weird. Yeah. I really did um, think that it was for something like batteries or like maybe rope or I could not, I couldn't figure it out. I, I definitely could tell that these fell, you know, you'd push those down. Yeah. But I assume there right. was something on the other side that I was really missing. Um, yeah, no. I could not it, figure that one way, out. It's way ago and oh. someone put the actual page that you just went to yeah. uh, but scroll down I'll, we'll read a few of the uh, funny answers competitor to nerf guns put two old double a batteries in it use the levers to launch them steve miller i got this this was the second most given answer nail trimmer yeah put two fingers in the holes pull the switch and the third most given answer dual cigar cutter cut two oh. cigars at one time uh and then other things uh, slot car trigger 
uh, latest uh, mail-in ballot. Put your fingers in. <laughs> flip flip it to vote. <laughs> oh, this is very funny. Next model uh, models of the next generation airline seats. Um, cigarette holder for people who want to smoke two cigarettes at one time. Uh, cast for two broken fingers. Uh, someone who has to write, uh, stay after school and write. This can hold two pieces of chalk. And then the weirdest of all, it's a fingertip trimmer if your gloves are too short. So I like it. I also like cut. the a childproof lock for hot dogs. Oh, that was it too, Marty. That was very funny. Childproof lock for hot dogs. Uh, and um, a lot of those issues are already in the mail. You win Mad Screens TV, the April 2020 issue of Mad. Oh, and go to back to the top. There's a new game. Yeah, this is da-dun, this is it. Da-dun, da-dun. Huh. Uh, okay. Huh. Uh, this is um <laughs> obviously a device for folding oh, very sandwiches. Good. Fold. It's a sandwich folding oh. device. You just oh, okay. Slide your bread in there, and then. It clamps down. Okay. Makes a perfectly folded sandwich because everybody loves their sandwiches f- folded. Uh, <laughs> if you think you know what this is, get a guessing. Over at gizwiz.biz, there are six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad, mad, mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. What the heck is it? Speaking of gizwiz.biz, that's where Dickie D writes up fantastic articles about all of the gadgets that we cover. If you would like to watch the show live, head on over to gizwiz.tv. There you can watch us live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. If we are live, just the main page just takes over with the live stream and the chat room so you can join along and chat. If you don't watch us live, no problem. You can subscribe on iTunes with an RSS feed or on YouTube or just check back to our website and we'll have the episode posted there. Big, big thank you. I haven't said thank you yet to our Patreon. Oh over my gosh, we love them. Patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much if you're a patron for supporting the gizwiz. Our hearts go out to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is our Patreon, patreon.com slash gizwiz. If you enjoy the show, please consider giving just a little bit, just a tiny amount, uh, and that will be a payment for every episode that we publish whenever we make one. You guys support. Thank you so much to those of you who are pledging on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Um, also, uh, if Patreon's not your deal, you can head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a PayPal link if PayPal is your preferred way to support. However you support, big, big, big thank you to you for keeping the Gizwiz rolling. Thank you so much. Uh, Don't forget to get in your videos for the Gadget Warehouse, and I think that about wraps it up. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.